Hi Paul, this is Brent Mitchell from Esteem Healthcare. Look, I've got the, um, the diathermy in front of me now, and I'm just going to run through the, the putting together of the bits so that you can see how it should be put together, just in case something was going wrong when you had it down at your place. I mean, I've tested it, and it's testing out fine. My concern is, though, that the power levels on both cut and coag were wound right down to the minimum of 2 watts, when they both can go up to um, 80 and 40 watts, respectively. So let me just run through now, putting it together with the bits. Um, you can see the unit there on the video. Um, power plug I've got here. I'm just going to plug that in at the back of the unit. We'll just turn that off in the meantime. I'm now going to put in the, the patient plate. So when you're using monopolar, of course, the patient becomes part of the circuit. So the neutral or patient plate has to be used. You can either use the stainless steel version um, or you can buy disposable ones as well. Now listen, the it's important thing is I've taken the back cover plastic off. Literally the plug, the plate goes into the plug. You can see there are two electrodes inside there. They get connected by the plug, clamp it down to hold firmly. And then the plug here will go into that socket there for the patient plate. Then we're going to get the then we're going to get the um, the pencil itself, right? This is the the monopolar one um, with a bipolar able unit with a monopolar handle. You have the switches available as well. The yellow switch, of course, will trigger the yellow um, the yellow or cut um, mode of which you've got two. You've got cut and blend. Blend being a little bit of cut and a little bit of coag at the same time. Um, this plugs in only round one way goes in there, the three pin socket, in there like that. Um, and then really we can, we, can, we can use it at that point if we want to. So without putting the foot pedal in, the hand switches will select and trigger the, the respective channel, blue or blue or yellow, whichever one you've chosen from, from the face pair. On the unit itself, you've got, this is pure cut, this is blend as I said, bit of cut and coag together, this is forced coag. Forced coag is a more shallow signal. Soft coag, which goes into a deeper tissue. And then we've got bipolar, which we'll get to soon. That's when you're using bipolar forceps. Now, initially, let's talk about, let's turn it on at the end, at the back. Every time you turn it on, it has a sound beep, which is a, um, letting you know the switch is on. It does a circuit test and comes up past. You can see currently I've got the I've got here the the levels set at 80 for cut and 50 for coag, which are the maximum signals. Most people would start around halfway or in the lower quadrant. You'll know if you've got it too high if you're producing smoke or if the tissue is going white. Okay, that means basically the signal's too high. The experts will tell me that you're better to have it as low as possible um, and then get no signal at all and then gradually turn it up to achieve the um, the signal that you require to get the results you require. So at the moment, as you can see on the plate here, um, I'm going to trigger this, the coag here, and you can hear that's sparking. Okay, so there's definitely power there. It's sparking on the plate. When you're using both cut or coag, um, it's important that you don't run the unit for more than 10 seconds at a time. The generator does get quite hot and has a thermal cutout. So um, you only would just do a few seconds at a time. You better do a little bit of time with coag, come off, do a bit more. With coag, you should be in position first where you want it to work and then trigger it. Cut is the opposite, trigger first and then bring it into position. Right, so that's without using the, the uh, foot pedal. Now I'm going to put the foot pedal in. The foot pedal plugs into the front here. Um, the plug only goes round one way, so you'll only fit it in that you can screw this this piece here in to keep it tight if you want to now with the foot pedal attached what happens here is that the the switches on the hand piece will simply choose or select the cut or coag channel that you've selected from the unit but the foot pedal will trigger so foot pedal when plugged in overrides the hand switch take the foot pedal out and the hand switch then triggers the function now, if you were going to use bipolar, i.e. bipolar forceps, there are a few extra pieces that you'll, you'll need to attach. 
So we're going to take the monopolar handpiece out and take that away. Um, I'm going to take out the patient plate because the neutral electrode is not used in bipolar. Because with bipolar, the signal goes between the tips of the forceps rather than through the patient. So I'm going to plug in the adapter now. So this adapter here is the bipolar adapter. The bipolar cable that looks like this. Okay, you've got two plugs. One plug goes into the adapter, like so, and the other plug goes into the other plug goes into the first of the three holes beside the um, the neutral electrode hole. Now we're going to get the forceps. So the forceps we use are the European standard forceps, which are the the ones with the square base. So you've got here, you've got a, oh, see that? This the little square base that fits directly into, only one way, into the handpiece. When you're using forceps, of course, you would locate your bleeder, close the forceps, the tips of the forceps on the bleeder, and then trigger the foot switch. So naturally, naturally with this unit, we are we're triggering it from, from the foot switch when using bipolar. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, please tell me if uh, you're still not achieving the signal you require or you're still having trouble. Um, but following those instructions, I'm hoping that you'll, you'll see that the unit is working. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to call. Um, with Haley's OK, we're going to send the unit back to you and see how you get on with it this time. Thanks.